Hi! Welcome! My name is Cass from Grade 11 Onyx. Good day everyone! So for today's vlog, we're going to talk about the social changes here in the Philippines. In here, we are going to find out whether the social change that ha already happened here in the country makes the Philippines better or bad. And not specifically in the Philippines only, but also for the ideas of social changes in the whole world. So first, let us define what does society mean. Said by Wikipedia, it is a group of individuals involved in persistent social interaction or a large social group sharing the same spatial or social territory, typically subject to the same political authority and dominant in cultural expectations. In the given definition that was provided by Wikipedia, we can definitely tell that a society is a group of persons which shares the same um, culture, ideas, um, share the same beliefs, or nor the same um, the same lahe. So going back, society is something that is inevitable to life, which means that society is always there and it can never or anything. So now, let's move on to defining what is social change. Um, sociolo sociologists define social change as changes in human interaction and relationships that transform cultural and social institutions. These changes occur over time and often have profound and long-term consequences for society. So, in here, we can definitely tell that the social change is something that happens in a long term. So, um, social change is also, also the reason why so our culture and the society changes over time. So, is this good that the social life of everyone is changing? Or no, we will find out. We have is the men only having the rights uh, to the women also having the rights. So once we go back to the history, we can actually tell that a man was the only one working, studying, and they only have the rights to vote and to run for elections. So now that the women have fight for their rights and the reformation has begun we we women have the rights to work to study to vote and to run for elections um we can definitely tell here in this period of time or in this generation the modern days uh we are now equal to the men so but not really equal I definitely believe that we can only attain gender equality in periods of time. Next is the Generation Z is now accepting every ideal an individual has. They are now breaking the gender stereotypes. So this is actually good since everyone can boost their confidence. Like for an example before we only have the specific ideal type of body or nor a skin tone. But now, here in our generation, we can definitely tell that everyone has the right, everyone should feel beautiful in their own ways without changing themselves. So next, we have the LGBTQ plus acceptance. So in here, we are accepting the gay community and it is actually favorable for me since I believe that the LGBTQ plus member is a part of the community. They are also a person who, who should have the rights to live freely in a 
in a democratic country. So now we can answer the question, is social change good or bad? So social change for me is definitely good for these things makes our life better. And without social change, nothing will happen in our society. And what also interests me is our collective power to influence social change. While we accept that change is constant, we do not have to accept that we are powerless. To the extent we care about the direction of social change that we can try to shape it and help to create the kind of change we wish to see in this world. And yes, let me ask you a question. What kind of change do you wish to see in the world? Thank you. <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you. Uh, 